Kevin Sprague has been fascinated with coffee. He was old enough to use a step stool to reach the mugs at home. And this same passion is translated into his marriage and now a profession called Noble Coyote Coffee Roasters. I gotta just tell him this real quick. You were fascinated with coffee. This is something your parents were fascinated with. And then you went to school, you went to Lake Highlands, and then you graduated, and then you got into production. And then you were doing big uh, conventions and all kinds of things. Right. And then your back gives out, and then the company closes, and now, some 30 years later, you're going to go back to what you were fascinated with to begin with was roasting coffee. Right. Brewed, Is that right? Uh, uh, brewed coffee. That's what I, I got into. It. And uh, I guess in 2003, I started uh, getting into roasting at home, and that's what started this whole how do you roast at home? Uh, well, we, I, at times I would start out with these. This is what the green beans look like when they're in the raw form. Yeah. So what I would do is roast them in a cast iron skillet. It smells like peanut shells. It's kind of a... Is that... It's, this is coffee? That's raw coffee beans. That's All right. And so form. how would you roast them? So you can just get a cast iron skillet and you can roast them in a skillet. It takes about 20 minutes and you just constantly move them and the, the bean just starts to expand and it creates that toastiness that you get on the coffee. And from there, you just let it age a little bit for a few hours, and then you've got a good cup of coffee. After that, you can grind it. So tell me something. What makes all the coffees different in tasting? Uh, regions that they're grown in. So there's, uh, as far as around the, the countries that are around the world, uh, you can grow them in different regions. So the soil, um, the climate will change that. And then and there's actually bean types that are different. So, so the, every, it's the type of bean in the region where it's grown. Grown it affects, and then the, and the, the type of roasting that you do. And the type of roasting. What are you going to make for me today? For, and for, what is this called? For, a Chemex? Yeah, this is a Chemex. This is designed by a, a German chemist in the 1940s. And uh, what it is, is it's just, it's basically controlled uh, temperature on ground coffee that you pour over. And what I'm going to do here, I've got this, I pre ground the coffee already into this, inside this filter. So what I'm going to do is uh, pour over. And so what this is creating, the carbon dioxide is being released off of mm. the bean right now. So we're going to let that bloom, let it, let it push Steep. off the CO2. Yes. So yeah, it's, when it's really fresh coffee, it, what they call a bloom, and it ex expands. It does. It looks like it's blooming open. Right. And then you, you can smell the aroma coming out of it. And as that goes down a little bit, we're going to continue the pour. And what I'm doing, I'm using this scale so that I can get a, a exact results every time. And this, is, and this is what you love to do as a child. It, <laughs> you know, people don't know what their kid is going to turn out to be. You know that. I mean, they're always looking for signs that the child is going to be an artist. But your parents said he's going to roast <laughs> coffee, I can tell. And you've become very successful. Yeah, we've done pretty good so far. We're Where do you get your coffee so from? We, uh, we source it from different regions around the world. We use... Uh, Fair trade certified beans and organic, and we also have a direct trade with a Honduran farmer that we work with. You do? So that's And so they send you the raw beans and you roast it, and then you send it back to them and they package it? No, we package everything in house. So we, we, once we get the beans, that's we take it from there, we package and everything. And this becomes your brand. And that becomes our brand. And this brand is called Noble Coyote Coffee Roasters, and this is a medium roast. That's a kind of a medium roast, yeah, and that's, that's part of a Cafe Momentum blend, that, that actual particular blend that, that is. Where can we buy this? Uh, this is available at a lot of local retail establishments around Dallas. Uh, Green Grocer, you can get it online at Artisone, uh, Jimmy's Food Store. Jimmy's. I love Jimmy's Food Store. We can uh, have that wine in the back room <laughs> with those sandwiches, those right. meatball sandwiches, and then this coffee. That'd be great. Oh, and a good cigar. <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> But it would be fun. I love this. I think this is a great way to let people know how you can turn something that you love to do and to actually make a career out of it. When is that it's, ready? It's going to be ready. It's just about done. Can I taste it? You can taste it. Do you have any, oh. do you have any cream? Do, we don't have any cream with us. We, uh, we do. Well, I'll You've get got, some. Okay. So I'm going to get my cup here. And by the way, these are great coffee cups. Thank you. Can we Vince. go online and order these? You can get those on our website as well. As we, we also sell the Chemex as well. So we sell all this. Oh, you sell the Chemex? We sell the Chemex. Yeah. Okay. What is this price wise? Uh, these are, I think, $39.50. Is that the, I think that's the price that we And have. they're different from Melidia, aren't they, Doug? 
in the Melidius, kind of like this. It's one. kind of the same. T it, you, the principle of the single cup. Or, yeah. Yeah. That's. It, but it's the same principle. This gives you uh, more volume. All way. right. Again, you can pick up uh, some of Noble Coffee's coffee at retail locations like Green Grocer, Jimmy's Food Store, Empire, and Artisan. They'll also be featured at several events, including White Rock Local Market in Dallas. So you can head to our website at thebroadcasttv.com for a link to Noble Coyote's coffee website. And